Hey everybody, Vin here. Welcome back to the kitchen. <clears throat> we have a nice day today, so I'm going to smoke some uh, ribs. So here I got about 10 pounds of spare ribs. Uh, they've been patted dry, silver skin, sloppily removed because I don't cook ribs very often, but you know, this is how I do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to season the ribs, and I'm just doing it the easy way. I'm using this stuff. It's so good. I like it. I really wish they were paying me, but they're not. Damn it. So what we're going to do is we're going to just give these a good liberal dusting. We're going to rub, you know, use the other side. We're going to season both sides up real good. We're going to rub the seasoning in and then in 30 minutes, just give it another light dusting. And while you're waiting those 30 minutes, make sure your grill is set up for indirect heat at 250 degrees. If you have a Traeger or a Pit Boss or another pellet grill, just get it up to 250. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. I sprinkled some more of that seasoning on the ribs off camera because it's pretty self-explanatory. We got the Pit Boss up to 250 degrees. So we're gonna put these Spare ribs on. Just like that. Got two racks of ribs on here. We're going to let them go for about 90 minutes. Then we're going to have to start spraying them. So, be right back. Okay, so the ribs have been going for about an hour and a half. So now what we have to do to make sure they stay moist and you know they start to tenderize and get more and more delicious, we gotta start spraying them. Now what I have in here is a 50-50 mix of apple cider vinegar and apple juice. So we're just gonna take the top off. We'll just give these a really good spray. Just like that. And we're going to do that every 45 minutes until we hit the four hour mark in smoking. It's been 45 minutes. Second hose down. Just go to town on it. Okay, we got done uh, doing our vinegar apple juice sprays. We're at the four hour mark, so for these last two hours, we're gonna mop the ribs. I have my little mop mix here. The ingredients should pop down there. We'll see. So we're gonna do it just like when we were spraying the ribs. Gotta coat these really good. Like slather it on. We're gonna do this just like with the uh, spray every 45 minutes until we hit that six hour mark. Should have just made put this in a squirt bottle. Make sure every part of the ribs is covered with this mop sauce because it's going to caramelize and give you that bark that makes barbecue delicious. Just like that. Alright, so we got the first coat on there. <laughs> Neighbors kids are playing. First thing of the mop on there, back in 45 minutes. Six hour cook time is done. Look at them bad boys. They're gonna be so good. 
We're gonna take them off the grill. We gotta let them rest. Okay, the ribs are off the smoker. We gotta let them rest for about 15 minutes. Okay, so we got the ribs off the grill, smoker, whatever. Now we just gotta slice them up. Let's do that. Okay, got the ribs sliced up a little bit. You cut them based on portion, but as you can see, we got that beautiful smoke ring in there. Got that nice caramelization on the bottom. It's delicious. I got family over, so if you hear them. But uh, that's realistically how you make spare ribs on the smoker. So please like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.